Welcome to my custom interloper run. I am Nightfoot 29 and here's what's in our backpack. Uh, I got way more matches than I realized. I got lots of fire accelerant. I fixed these gloves. We have coffee ready now. Um, I have two hacksaws. Uh, you know what? We're going to be coming right back through this area. So I'll drop one. I'm taking these because I just, I don't know. I don't want to leave them. Uh, we're on day 28. And here's our skills. Cooking is it's making its way. And it is about mid-afternoon. Or it's afternoon. I don't know. I have to adjust my headset. I don't know why. It is so low. Hey, Murdback, welcome in. We're going to go back in here. Oh, now all of a sudden the game is way louder. Alright. So I dropped all of the saplings. I dropped all the the rabbit hides. Um, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go. How many sticks? I have one stick. That's horrible. I can't mark a cave with one stick. Not gonna work. Yeah, we are stickless and welcome in, coach. I'm hungry. All right, let's go to the right. Alright, that was great, actually. That was the way to go. Um, I can always use the rocks and just drop a couple of rocks at the spots I would normally put a stick, but I don't really feel like doing it. That That is the way I used to mark them. Hmm. Let's go this way. You know what? I got one stick. This might be where I'm supposed to use it. Are there no sticks in this cave? Well, we got a bit of coal. Hey, little puppy. Oh, we got my favorite lantern again. Yes, yes, yes. Her back was wondering if it was going to be there. It was there. All right, what happens if we go this way? It's a dead end. I'm good with that. Nothing else, really. All right, now I guess I go all the way back to my stick. All 
There's my stick. I'm gonna leave it there. Alright, this is a dead end, that's good. Is Merd really a developer seeding Nafo's journey? <laughs> he might be. I was telling my wife about Merd the other day. I'm like, I don't get this guy. I said, I can scan a room. And then when I'm done, he'll be like, aren't you going to grab those uh, matches? <laughs> and I'm like, I go back and I look. And I'm struggling to see them where he saw them when they were on my screen for a split second. When he had no knowledge of when I was going to put my view on that area. Sometimes I'm a little fishy on his knowledge. <laughs> no kidding, eagle eyes. But it's appreciated. And I appreciate the way he does it. He lets me look first and then he's like, hey. <laughs> hey dummy, you missed something. Again. Alright, we're gonna do this the way I usually. We're gonna go through this up here. Through the little birch forest. Grab as many of it as we can. Uh, I don't know. If I might want to stay overnight on the stone shelf cave. Or if I want to, I think that's probably the smartest thing. And just start with the uh, ropes in the morning. Yeah. Okay, we have... Just rocks. No weapons. But we have torches and we have 857,000 matches. And we placed our one stick in that cave in the one spot that it needs to be in. Would have been nicer to have a couple, but oh well. Now, what's our weight? 29 out of 35. We've got lots of room for sticks. And that's counting those two pieces of wood that we're carrying. And seven pieces of coal. That's a that's a decent amount. So apparently we dodged a wicked storm overnight where I live. I didn't tell you about yesterday. Yesterday was actually pretty funny. And I'm actually glad I didn't tell you about it. Because it's actually funnier now. Um, we had this wicked clap of thunder. At about 
235 in the morning. It was so loud. I sat straight up. And out loud, I just said, like, Jesus Christ. And I heard my wife. She just, I looked over and she's just laying there. Chuckling. Uh, like that scared the ever loving hell out of me. Like my heart was racing. And then later in the day, I asked her, I'm like, is that one of the loudest claps of thunder you've ever heard? She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like this morning. <laughs> and she's like, I didn't hear anything. Like, what? <laughs> So she must have been chuckling in her sleep to my response. Meanwhile, I soiled my underwear. Nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> and we were expecting another one of those storms to roll through last night, but need a horse. apparently it went just north of us, so that's good. I didn't need a stress test like that. Stress tests are way more fun when you're in a facility with doctors. There we go. Earth Park's getting bigger. Hey, RA, welcome in. How are we doing for Birch Park now? We got 17. Should find at least one down here, so I might get my my wish of even numbers. Your first heart attack was in a card office. What's a card office? Or was that a typo? I think there's a piece. Oh, okay, okay. A heart doctor, so a cardio type of cardiac place. My first one was in bed. definitely make it up that rope. But... Do I want... I'm not gonna take all these rose hips. But what we will do is bust down that, uh, that one lantern. Oh, food is an issue. And I don't want to be drinking all my calories, but really I got no other way of... You know what? We might just go. Let's just go. We'll drink a coffee. We'll climb the rope. 
And we'll keep drinking coffee. And see if we can get up all the ropes. This is eerily similar to the previous run where I lost my well fed right when I was getting the backpack. Alright, now we have a sprain risk. Okay, you know what? We can go and craft up all this birch bark. Which will also warm us up. Cold is making my head feel thick. Uh I do have two of those, okay good. Hey, all right, thank you for the bits. Yeah, I think this is a smarter idea anyways, is just get our warmth back. I don't know why I prefer to go right to the back of the cave, but that's what I'm doing. can drink a little bit. I don't want to drink too much because I want to save room for the coffee, right? And I'm hoping that five coffees is enough. Oh boy, that's not where I wanted. I don't know if I've ever made an attempt like this where I just decided, screw it, I'm going to power through. I think it might work out. Is that another chunk of birch bark? Do I have a piece left over? No, I don't. I had an even number, so. usually powers through with coffee, go juice, and two stims on standby. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have any of the go juice. Or the stims. We do have a memento cache in Pleasant Valley in the what is it, in the church? That is uh, apparently loaded with stims. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take another one. And hopefully it's not a mistake. <laughs> Not your uh, favorite place in the game here, R.A. Bad memories from that rope. Yeah, so this is the problem part, is that now we don't have enough room for more coffee, but we can hurry up. Maybe this will still... Oh, 
Oh, there's a box by the rope. I always get that on my way back because I never see it on the way there. But what if there's a nice can of food in here? Nope. Just that. <laughs> yeah, I think all of us have had at least one death where we just stared at our screen jaw dropped for several minutes, wondering what the hell just happened. I know I definitely did. That was when I fell from the tracks in Ravine. Can't feel my feet. Alright, uh, what is here? We don't need a heavy hammer. We might have to sleep on that ledge. Well, let me change that. We will have to sleep on this ledge. Alright, is this the one where you died from the rope? Oh, come on, Will. Yeah. Yeah, one of these hitboxes is extremely sketchy. Uh-oh. Are we close enough? Not yet. Don't fall. There we go. We made it. I'm so tired. Uh. You know what? I got lots of accelerant. Well, thank goodness for that. And we got lots of coal. Just go four hours. And we can drop a coffee and drink it. When it's hot. I need to find food. Alright. Oh, this is so sketchy. Because we can't even see the rope. I remember this on my stalker run, and I'm like, wow, this is... There we go. Horrible. See? This is a nice little sheltered area, so I think I could be wrong. But I think we can get a decent fire going. Um, or maybe the game says no fires in this area. Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Scared the piss out of me, alright. <laughs> Thanks for that. Alright. 
two hours and two coffees might I hope be enough to get us up that rope it's all timing yes it is oh did my fire go out Well, that's not fair because I was hoping to heat up my coffee. So two hours was not good enough. There we go. My energy is just disappearing. I need tender. Uh... Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to lose my well-fed again. That should help warm things up. I could eat anything. Um... Cook up some birch bark. Actually, I'm going to take that back. It didn't really warm me up as much as I was expecting it would. By drinking the hot drink. So cold in my life. All right, finally. Are we frozen? All of our clothing is frozen. Food is not our issue right now. Uh, it won't let me drink. Well, it looks like power and through was not a good idea. My only hope. Oh. Can I keep this going? No. Uh, I mean, I can't keep a fire here. I 
have no choice. Uh, I'm too encumbered. Can't feel my hands. Twenty-four. I honestly don't know what to do right now. Wait. I'm so cold and warming up again. I mean, I can't sleep. I can't make a fire. I can't get to the rope. I have two lanterns, yeah, but the problem is all the fuel is in this one, and I do not want to leave this one behind. It was at this moment that he knew <laughs> he fucked up. Yes, it was. Twenty one. We don't need a bedroll on us. Oh, I'm still too heavy. No, I'm not heavy. I, I, this is the only thing I can do is just try it with no stamina. Thanks for that uh, sound alert there, Ari. Yeah, right now, losing well-fed is the, the least of my worries, I think. Absolutely shocked. That I actually made it up the rope. And I can't see anything. This is a full-blown blizzard, I do believe. And I can't just go down instantly. I have to get this rope set. No, I don't have to. You know what? But I am going to check here first. I know, hey, everyone's like, what? You made it up that rope with no stamina at all? All your alertness was done? Yeah, right now I don't care about well-fed. Just like I don't care about that sapling. Um, if I can get to this cave, I hope the rope is in the cave. It wasn't the last time I came here. Oh, and I'm not even warming up in here. Oh, great, and I just... Well, what's my worst torch? I have a piece of coal. Looks like it worked. Hopefully that's enough. There we go. Wow, 
sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Now I can't even sleep because I left my bedroll on that ledge. Ah, beautiful. Is there anything else in here? Oh, that's even better. And nothing else. There was wood. Oh, there is. Wow. Hey, all right. Thank you. Well. I don't care if I'm wasting it. As long as we're get we got a good warming bonus. I think we'll just drink this one, set the rope and get down. Yep, clothing is frozen. I need a good torch. I need one more good one. Or a couple of bad ones. There we go. I'll take that. Let's just go while we got a good warming bonus. Been so hungry Looks like life. the weather cleared up a little bit. Well... Maybe it didn't. So we'll set this rope, we'll go down and just get right into the mine. And, uh, get ourselves all the way to the backpack where we can sleep. regrets right now about not just spending the night in Stone Shelf Cave. We're going to break countless frozen limbs here, I think. There goes an ankle. care about that though just let me get to the mine and we'll be okay
And we're not even going to worry about any of this stuff out here. Is... Okay. I'm going to need some first aid. Soon. I don't feel so good. Oh, that hurts. Actually, I lied. I might check this box just because I'm hoping maybe it has a flare. Nope. Okay. Hey, we lived. We lived. Always use more food. We're just gonna eat it. And I don't know how important it is to do that when they're already frozen, but we'll do it. Ouch. Damn, that's smarts. torch went out. I might actually need that to break it down. Wow, I honestly, I'm just shocked that I was actually able to make it here. use this. Ah, oh, those are all right. Got the backpack. Oh, look at those. And look at those. Uh, you know what? We don't need a fire. Um, we can do that. And We can do that. We 
wait a second. Do 1.6. Am I going to have to take off all of my frozen clothing? Is that how the game is working itself right now? that bed feels like five and we have plus five I'm gonna go four hours all right we got daytime Two more hours. I need to find food. Oh, and we got terrible weather, too. Well, some of these look like they're dried out, which is good. drop those ones. Uh, we still have no pants. Is there anything on here? Or is this just gonna take us to the exit? Maybe some coal? stuck on the rock there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. It's just going to go right to the exit. I don't want this exit. Uh, what I would like is to have nice weather so that I can go get one of those bunnies or a couple of those bunnies there's ptarmigans out there too all I can think about is food um Oh, 
what's over here? Is there any more? Oops. Alright, we got the food poisoning still for an hour or so. but we still got well fed. And that is actually very surprising, to be honest. I don't think there was any cattails outside from my memory. I think it's just the uh, rabbits and the ptarmigans. And yeah. Right, there's the exit. This torch is done, so I'll just let it go. Um, you know what? I don't really need to carry that. Wow. Seriously, if we get through this and still have well fed, I will be just amazed. Where are the bunnies? And where are the chickens? They're over here, I think, usually, aren't they? Well, let's go check the body. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll have a can of food. Maybe he'll have a rifle. Oh, no rifle. That'll come handy. We got bullets. I think I need to lay down. Uh That'll help with our calories. Uh, I need those bunnies. Why have they not spawned in? trying to think what else can I drink you're 120 you know what that's what we're drinking
<laughs> yeah, no kidding, eh? Like, ah, eh, let's not give them the bunnies. I don't know. I'm going to attempt to go this way and see if maybe they spawn in behind me. Maybe somehow there's some uh, kind of a trigger point. Something's making me feel really tired. Yeah, I need to sleep at least two more hours just to get rid of this food poisoning, but I need food. Well, the good thing, I guess, is it's almost nighttime. I, I'm totally losing well fed. Totally gonna be losing it, but. Um. Whatever. We'll get it back. I don't think there's any other loot around here other than that, uh, other than this little cabinet there. All right, well, not really much choice. Uh, gotta go back. In. Cause we need the clothing that we left behind anyways. And unfortunately we have to leave this area the way we came to grab all of our stuff that we left on that ledge all right uh take y'all off cool But I do still want to go up that rope out there and go have a look for the rifle and potentially the bear coat. There's that little uh, cache, probably a couple boxes of matches. Or at least one. Where are you at? You're at 38 wet. You know what? Let's make a fire. See, I wanted to grab more coal. There it is. Oh. 
Um, I think I need to make some water anyways. Because, well, I guess I didn't need to, but we're going to. We're going to live off of birch bark. No worries, coach. Alright, so what do we got? We got, we still got 185 for water. Food poisoning should be gone. As is well fed. Those are good. Gotta take those off. You know what? I may as well take all of it. Still nighttime though. Gotta warm up my feet. Well, hopefully it's a nice clear starry night so we can see. an aurora night. Do we have any aurora bunnies? By chance? Doesn't look like it, but it is a good clear night, so that's fine. I could eat anything right now. climb this rope very often. Actually, well, I think they're both at the same rate right now, but... Yeah. <sighs> 
Yeah, since I learned about that goat spot for this place, I've never used this rope. And I usually, when I get here, I check everything out. Up here before I go down. But... Alright, we're gonna take you. I think there was another one, I might be wrong. And because of our low condition, I'm gonna check it out. See if we can gain some temperature in this cave. Yes, we can. Yeah, I think we actually even passed one on our way in there, right? Like another one. Uh, I'm gonna do that to get some of our alertness back. I don't get some food soon. Sorry, I mean our temperature, not our alertness. Matches are on the left side in that little nook. All right, just the one that might come in handy. Oops, I totally missed it. Oh, look at you. Well, we can repair them. And they'll be good. We need to find some place to escape this cold. a drop than I was expecting. Freezing. All right, no rifle. Well, I guess we just head back. We are bound to leave by our uh, other route, so. This food situation just sucks. I think I'm going to do what I did when I got here, is just power through. I have no choice. I mean, I have the drinks to give me calories, but... You can only drink so much, right? So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. And that'll probably prevent us from getting a good rest. 
and regaining some decent condition. Yeah, I left the bedroll, I left the lanterns. Don't care a whole lot about the flares, but I'll take them when I get there. Now, where was that other sapling? And what was that other sapling? If it's maple, I'm not too terribly worried about it, but... Whatever. I'm not gonna die looking for it. Oh, there it is. Alright. Back to the mine. Have a big old nap and get out of here. <laughs> hey, meet then. Welcome in. Yeah, we're cold and we're hungry. Uh, it was real sketchy. It was real sketchy getting here. I didn't sleep before we came here. I thought my five coffees might be enough. We ended up on the third rope with uh, no alertness, no coffee, and the wind blew out our fire. We were freezing. I had to drop my bedroll there and my lanterns. And that's my only torch, really? Just the good one left. So, we're still not out of the woods here. I mean, we need food. We're only gonna get so many calories. From a drink, right? Yeah, and we were in a blizzard. Cold. Had no choice but to climb the rope, the remainder of the rope. Uh, we were at the ledge. Had to climb the remainder of that rope with no alertness at all and hope that we made it. Which we luckily did. <sighs> yeah, got out by the skin of our teeth. But did we? Or did we just prolong it? That's only gonna give us so many calories. And let's drink one of these. Oh, and then it didn't help that the food that was here. Damn it. Gave us food poisoning. All right, let's not forget to do that. 
Um, you know what? We have no choice. We have to sleep. Yeah, the tea is still calories, but the problem is, you, I mean, you can only drink so much. Yeah, you totally missed some clinch, man. You definitely have to go check out the video on YouTube. Alright, and now we have no drinks. Um, Never been so hungry in my life. All right, I have no choice. I have to light this. And we have to go. In our condition right now, we got to get out of here. Uh, we also didn't have any rabbits or ptarmigans outside the mine. Hey, Dr. Kane, welcome in. Yes. Yes. To your comment. <laughs> so we didn't get a lot of luck with the food and and you know what? I did exactly what I did last time. I came up here with uh, not enough food. If there was rabbits outside the mine, we might have got away with keeping our well fed. But there wasn't. And so now one of our problems is that uh, we got to climb down all these ropes, but we have to make a pit stop on one of them. Uh, we can afford to take this because I left my bedroll and both of my lanterns on the one ledge. And do I have any more? I have one more accelerant. We had five initially. I'm really not concerned about the well fed though. It's uh, kind of becoming a thing for me to lose it when I grab something that gives me more carrying capacity. Now where? Oh, son of a. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, I forgot about that. We have to go back up that other rope to the ledge to get my stuff. <laughs> you were trying to type it before I went down, but you were too late. That's fine. You don't have to come back for your stuff right away. You can come back with food and well fed. Yeah, but I, that's my bedroll. 
and my lantern. Those are two real key items that I would... Oh my god, that is a long way up. That is a long way up. If I make a fire... Oh, I still need tinder. If I make a fire, can I get a couple of hours? I don't making my head feel thick. Like the sound of that wind. That should help warm things up. <laughs> Is one bedroll and lantern worth starting another run? Gotta eat soon. Oh, damn it. I made this fire forgetting that I can't sleep. Miten, you might be right. I mean... Oh, what to do? I have never been in a situation like this. Um, you know what? I mean, I got, I can make some tea. At least takes the uh, hunger out of the red. I know once I get down the rope, there's like hundreds of cattails. If I go down, the closest bed is to the left of the cave. Yes, Angler's Den. And it's surrounded by cattails. My stomach feels like an empty pit. But it's also surrounded by wolves. Oh wow, look at these torches. Come on, put it away. Push the button. I'm going to take that one as my bad one. And... I'm going to heat up a tea just to get some... Temperature bonus. Bye-bye, bedroll. Bye-bye. Lantern variant. We will be back. Well, we do have a couple of flares to use. All right, now this is a problem too because Uh, 
what else was there? I don't want to drop. Ooh. That might be a bad idea. Right, the spray can. <laughs> the hoarder never forgets his loot even if it kills him. Yeah, no kidding. You know what, if Miten was in earlier, he could have taught us the, uh, he could have guided us from the mine to Angler's Den. What was this? Oh, that's the heavy hammer. That's not no use to us. Starvation. Oh. Yeah, and here we are. Well, we're dying from starvation. Oh, if anybody knows that you can go down here, that would be awesome. do have that rule no backseating is especially if I ask <laughs> can we eat trees We just bean a moose with a rock. Will that take him down? This might not be the smartest thing to do, but I'm not even stopping at the cave to warm up. I am just going to continue going this way. Try to get to the angler's den as soon as I can. And then we will pick every cattail in sight. Feel my feet. But, I mean, the game could give me clear weather. Yeah, Blizzard might make it easier to get through that area. keep as few of those things in the red as possible But freezing is the one that takes the most, right? That's like 
Wow, this is definitely not a, bo a boring stream. <laughs> we did not play it safe at all in this one. I'm just going to go right to Angler's Den so I can warm up. I'm not so much worried about the food as I am about the cold. Oh, damn it. That's better. Die if I don't get some food soon. But I do still wish that I could see. I mean, I have a pretty decent idea. You think six cattails and then the den? How about I just grab the ones that are in my uh, path? I've been lost out here before. Uh-oh. We got the heartbeat. Okay, I I think I know where I'm at. This is where you go by those walls. Wow, are we far? We're dead. Yeah, just don't get lost. I can't stop for cattails. The cold is gonna kill us here. Too far left. Come on, give me that stick. There we go. Yeah, I have no clue where I'm at. I can't see. I went past it when I wandered around that rock. No. Yeah, I don't have a clue where I'm at. Damn it. So Goodbye. Hungry. There it is. <laughs> no, it's not backseating when it's postmortem. Well, 30 days. Well, that was interesting. Well, definitely what I learned from this is I'm not, uh, I'm not rushing Ash Canyon anymore. I have to make sure that I have plenty of food and by plenty of food I mean cattails because when I go there I'm not taking a weapon 
So I need to make sure that I have good food that doesn't stink. And yeah. Oh well, there it is. So I guess uh, I'll say thank you to the people on YouTube for watching. And I will see you tomorrow.